All right, part two. Hey pen friends, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Devin. For today's video, I'm going to be talking about why I started to use fountain pens. So it'll be a follow-up to last week's video where I talk about reasons why I didn't want to start using fountain pens. In case you missed it, I'll leave it linked off in the description box below. That way you can get caught up. It was really interesting to read through the comments and the messages that I received on last week's video because it seems like there's two different camps. One is you started using fountain pens because that is what you used in school and it was just sort of the norm and very common. And then there's another camp which I personally identify with and that is you found fountain pens a little later on. It wasn't really commonly used. And while I experienced some resistance to the fountain pen hobby, initially there were definitely certain aspects of it that pulled me in so the first being is that they are just beautiful writing instruments and it really seems like there's something for everyone you have your more traditional looking pens like the Conklin Durograph and the pen BBS but then there's also a more modern take on fountain pens now like with the Lamy Lux and the Twisby Diamond 580 and that's another awesome category in itself are all of the clear demonstrator pens because you really get to show off your inks and it's just really aesthetic and pleasing to look at with the resin body fountain pens and I'm not too familiar with the craftsmanship so if you know feel free to jump in the comments below but to my general knowledge there are layers of resin cast in certain pens so just kind of admiring it from that perspective thinking about the attention to detail that needs to go into crafting a pen like this is just pretty phenomenal. It definitely heightens my appreciation for fountain pens because they're not only my writing instruments of choice, but they also feel like a work of art. Another reason why I started to use fountain pens was because of all of the wonderful ink properties, and something in particular that I didn't see with my regular gel pens and ballpoints was ink shading. That was an attribute that I saw that was unique to the fountain pen hobby and that alone was enough to pull me in. Just getting into the fountain pen hobby, of course there are a number of amazing inks that you can play around with and enjoy. And then when you account for the different ink properties like shading, sheening, shimmer, glitter, the possibilities are truly endless. Ooh, and you guys know I love the shimmer and sheening inks as well, so just having these different attributes and experiences when I write and seeing the ink lay onto the page is really something special. A very practical reason why I started to use fountain pens was that they are just more comfortable to use. I grew up with not really understanding what a good pen grip was so I created this, I don't even know what you would call this but I have it wedged between my four fingers and this is how I would write and that's how I wrote for the longest time. I would get calluses on my fingers because I was so strained in that position but getting something like a Lamy pen with the triangular grip and this is a controversial thing in the fountain pen community. Some people love it, some people hate it. Personally I found it extremely useful because the triangular grip forces you to hold your pen in in the correct writing position. So now I have a less strained, less stressful arm position for when I write. There are of course things that I would still like to improve to get the most optimal writing experience and grip, but I've experienced a world of difference in just not having crazy calluses or just extreme arm pain. I would wake up in the middle of the night and my arm would be throbbing if I happened to write and journal a lot that particular day. And you guys know I love journaling. So this has helped me a lot in breaking that habit that I had reinforced for so, so many years. Now I have a more optimal grip, which translates for longer writing sessions and I don't get burnt out so quickly. I would love to hear from you guys. Why did you start using fountain pens? Please let me know in the comment section below. If you enjoyed this video please give it a thumbs up and feel free to share it with a pen friend who you think might also enjoy it. I love talking about all things pen and paper so if that's your jam 
feel free to stick around and check out the two videos that I have linked on the screen. They will also be linked off in the description box below. You can also connect with me on Instagram at Devin Liu. Don't forget to subscribe and turn on those notifications. That way you don't miss any of my videos. I do my best to upload here every Thursday evening, so please take care until then. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll catch you in the next one. Bye.